Okay, welcome guys. Welcome to the Stock Market Technical Analysis channel. This is a channel all about trade ideas using the charts and technical analysis to find high probability trades. So no guarantees here, but what I like to do is point out trade setups, trade ideas, things that could actually be profitable, give you guys an idea of how I think the market's gonna trade based on the technicals. If you guys find value in the content, drop me a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. It helps the channel grow. I help you, you help me. That's how things work out in this world. And then also, if you're interested in learning this as a skill set and not just want to watch these daily videos, then take my stock market technical analysis course. I put that course together a couple of years ago at the request of my subscribers. And I put out, it's a breakdown of all the, you know, all the technicals and how to really set up your own trade ideas. I have a checklist for you so you can kind of check things off to make sure your trade setup meets certain criteria. That's all in the course. And I priced it affordable. That's the key thing. You know, I do want this to be accessible for people that are interested in learning how to use this as a skill set. So check that out. Link in the description below. And it's uh, there for your, for your use. Okay, I'm gonna make this video, it's not gonna be too long, but what I wanna do th is go through the general markets. I wanna look at triple Qs. That's where I'm kind of more focused is the tech sector because the tech sectors have a, had a pretty good sell-off from the all-time highs. So I am looking for a rally and I'll point out what I see in the charts that tells me that's likely to happen. Uh, we'll look at gold and gold stocks as well. I think that's interesting. Netflix looks interesting to me, so we'll point those out. Okay, so on Friday, if anybody that followed along with my last video, I talked about how I went long at the lows on Friday on Triple Q. So I am looking for a rally in the market, a, a bear market rally. So understand that that rally is likely going to be strong and impulsive, but will be sold into uh, you know as we start to hit targets. So un, you know the thing is. The market's really oversold. We've sold down almost 30% in triple Qs from the highs. And it makes sense that you're gonna get a bear market rally here, not only based on the fact that things are really oversold, but the technicals tell me that. Let's look at the hourly chart here on triple Qs. So on the hourly, what I noticed on Friday, and I put it out in, the, in a post, a community post, and then also talked about it in my video, is this downtrend. And we got a couple things going on right now that tell, tells me this chart is near-term bullish. All right, so here is your support, this downtrend line. So we have one, two, we have another reaction right in here, have that one circled. And then here's Friday's price action, a fourth reaction on that trend line. So that is a pretty good valid trend line to watch. So we bounced off of that. That's basically, we sold down, hit that on Friday, and then bounced off of that. That's where I flip along. Now on the top end of this pattern, we have resistance. We've got one, two, three, we got three reactions. So I'm looking for a fourth at least, and we might even break to the upside of this pattern. The one thing I do wanna point out is this pattern here is a bullish falling wedge pattern, okay? So this is a bullish pattern that 80% of the time will resolve to the upside. Doesn't have to, but that's what this pattern typically does. So we wanna play the probabilities there. And yeah, we're looking for certain levels to break. So we did have this, I've got kind of a lot of levels along the way. My minimum target would be this 305. Uh, and that's the level we've had one, and you know, several reactions there on that 305. So we should get a, re a reaction here, probably get a pullback, um, probably down to about 298. And then we could rally. Um, the final target, if we're gonna get a bear market rally, uh, it's likely going to be kind of a short squeeze and you're going to see pretty impulsive buying. And I think we could trade all the way up to this 318 area. If I go to the daily chart here, 318, that was kind of a former area of major support on the daily. You can see support here, support here. We kind of battled it out for a week or so right in here and then it finally broke. So if we're going to rally, we could rally all the way up to that 318. Could go more, but I would just look at 318 as maybe the final target for a potential rally on this one. Finally, I want to point out the other reason, the other technical that tells me we have a high probability for a rally, a bear market rally, is we still have the bullish divergence here on the on the RSI. See that we were making higher highs in the in the momentum. It's not there on the R on the PPO, but it is there on the RSI. So. Mixed signals, but still we, we have it. So the point is price was continuing to drift lower. 
Friday, we kind of dipped down, hit that trend line, made a new lower low, but it still kept bullish divergence on the RSI. So in general, it's hard to be heavily loaded short in this market, and I'd actually prefer to be long. I am long, went long on Friday. Um, I covered a lot of my shorts just for the near term. All I'm really looking for is a bear market rally. We rally up to these resistance areas, and then we'll look to reshort the market. Because again, we are in a bear market, at least from my perspective, from what I can tell in the charts. Uh, but you get rallies along the way. So if I am right about this bear market rally, we should have pretty impulsive buying. And then we'll we'll have a, a more objective opportunity to reshort. We don't want to short. Again, just giving you an idea of how the market likes to trade. You don't want to short down here at the lows. You want to take profit on shorts. When everyone starts to realize that the market's in a bear market, is in a bear market, you don't want to be short when everyone thinks we're in a bear market. You want to be short when nobody thinks we're in a bear market, and yet we are entering a bear market. And that's why, again, I shorted back on January 4th of this year. Go back and watch that video if you're interested. Um, but um, you know, nobody was bearish at that time. I said this is a good opportunity to short. We shorted. And so far, that's played out really well. So that's what I got on the triple Qs. Looking for a continued rally up to 318. Um, we do need to break a couple levels. The, the big level right here is about 305 and this downtrend line. So right up in here, that's kind of the major resistance that the market will have to get through. I think we're going to continue to rally up into that area. And then it would make sense to cover. Uh, or close out, sorry, not cover, but close out along, let it break out above this trend line and then probably catch the final move up to 318. Okay, gold. So I'm looking for gold to continue to rally here. Um, this is gold bullion. One way to look at it is gold bullion. You've got kind of this bull market trend line starting back in 2018. Big correction that lasted a year and a half. We had this downtrend line to watch. I have a, kind of all the little ticks marked out. Broke out, so that is a breakout, and we came in for a back test. This back test makes people kind of second guess, but I think this is just a false breakdown and we're gonna recover. All right, another way to look at it, you can look at GLD. This is another chart, and GLD doesn't have the same look. So if you look at GLD, I've got the downtrend line kind of marked here, and you can see there's your breakout. And we have, you know, kind of your breakout there. We got a couple reactions, one there, one there, one there. Uh, these, they sold in a little early, but again, and then we came in for a back test here. So that's a breakout and a back test. This is objective. This was objective and it's starting to rally, but definitely was objective to be a buyer down here to go long. Uh, and so that's what I've started to do. I'm starting to add to some mining positions today. I bought some Barrett gold. Here's Barrett gold here. Not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of just adding to it, but on Barrett Gold, same kind of pattern. Uh, here's your, off the highs, you've got a reaction, 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 and then we broke out. Once we broke out, we hit it as support, tested it right there, came in, undercut it, but you can see they're kind of battling it out. So they might, they might recover this. And if they do, then this, all this price action right here is going to be a bear trap. And that's usually what you want to see is, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to take out a level, that's going to run a bunch of stops. And if you can recover it, anybody who's shorted the breakdown is going to scramble to get out and cover. And then the longs are going to see that that was a bear trap and it should rally from there. So I think that's what we're going to get. Again, need to give it a little bit more room and not I'm not getting too heavy on this position, but definitely starting to starting to build. And just some of these other miners look good as well. WPM, I bought some of that on Friday. MTA, I bought some of that last week uh, and a couple weeks ago. So again, there's several miners that are looking uh, relatively decent. So I want to point, you know, just want to kind of let you know that I think the miners are likely going to rally. Here's GDXJ. You can see we bounced off of some support here. GDXJ, you got support, support, and then there's a third reaction. So we bounced off of that. Uh, coming up into resistance up here around 41. So we'll need to see it recover and break above that. but. Still looking bullish in general. Okay, Netflix. So Netflix looks like a good long setup. Not an actionable trade yet, but definitely looks like a decent setup. So I'm very focused on this one. Uh, looking for a breakout and a buy signal. On Netflix, we've got on the daily chart, bullish divergence. I've got it kind of marked out down here. Momentum is continued to trend higher. 
So that tells me that we are building that bullish momentum and we're likely gonna break to the upside soon. We don't see it in the price action. If I, you can, we have this downtrend line to watch here. If I go to the hourly chart, it shows a little cleaner. So we basically start at the gap, the most recent gap, and then you can see we basically hit support here and we're just consolidating right here. And if I draw it out, we're kind of, we're kind of building this triangle, wedging out, and we're pretty much at the breakout point. So we should either break out to the upside or break down. The bullish momentum tells me we're gonna break out to the upside. From, from my trading strategy and what I teach, I need to see a buy signal, which is that breakout. I need to see this trend line get taken out. So I need a bullish breakout above this trend line, nice, nice bullish candle, and that would be the buy signal. If we get that buy signal, first area of resistance, 204, okay, right in there. And then I don't see much resistance till gap gap entry right there up at about 245, 246. Okay, so those are the two levels we'll watch. It'll probably look something like this. You probably break out, rally, hit that, you know, maybe come in for a back test, maybe not, I don't know, and then move up to gap entry. All right, now do we get gap fill? Gap fills all the way up here, basically at 347 down to about 330, do we get this? Maybe, all right, so maybe you wanna trail a stop because if this, this thing wants to run, it can run, it's been sold off pretty hard, so you might have a lot of short covering happen, but I don't know if I'd hold out for all of that, definitely take profit, as, you know, I would definitely take profit as we hit these resistance levels, but that's the trade setup. So again, just waiting for that breakout and that buy signal. We don't have it today, at least not yet, so just wanna point it out because likely when it comes, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a video out at the moment that it's the perfect entry. So uh, that's why I'm giving you the prep work now so that if you see it, you know, then maybe, maybe you can take a shot at it. Again, everything on this channel is just my opinion. I'm not giving any financial advice, but I'm just showing you some charts and some trade setups. Let's take a look at some of these financials. I just noticed these, these are rallying pretty, pretty aggressively today. And we definitely have a bear trap in play. So here's Bank of America. You can see here's your pre-COVID highs. I've got that area marked out. 35.56 was a key level of support, your pre-COVID highs. Okay, so that, that's a level that I would really watch. And as you zoom in, you can see we broke down over the last week or so, but boom, snapped it back up and it's recovered. So that's a bear trap as of right now. I don't think, you know, I think that's probably going to set this up to continue to rally maybe up to the 200 day. Um, you know, there's other levels. I'm not really, you know, th this isn't a trade idea per se. There's a level right here. You might want to watch if you're, you know, looking at this, but definitely a key level right there. Uh, and that would be your, your first point of resistance. 38, 38, 40, 38 bucks, somewhere right in there. Um, but yeah, the point is breakdown and recovery. So that's the bear trap that's basically in play. Also, look at the bullish divergence. Again, these concepts I teach in my course. So you'll you'll pick up on this stuff if you take the course, you'll be able to find your own trade ideas. You don't have to wait for me to point these out. But bullish divergence, so as this continued to drift lower, you've got um, bullish momentum. Downtrend line right here. So that's probably what I'd really wanna watch is see if we can you know, see if you can break, if that'll break. Uh, this one's kind of like right in here, about like that. Um, but, you know, so we're kind of at that key point where if it's gonna break, maybe it'll break right now. Maybe you get a little pullback and then it'll break, but still looking pretty bullish. We're above those key uh, area of um, support, which was the, the pre-COVID highs. Those are kind of the targets that I have on a lot of my stocks is the pre-COVID highs. So. Just keep an eye out for those. AVGO still looks like a decent short, although if we are gonna get that rally that I'm looking for, maybe AVGO is gonna back test, okay? And that would be a back test of this upper trend line. So on the daily chart, you can see key level of support was recently taken out, all right, and the 200 day, so here it is marked out, reaction there, and we took it out. So you had a sell signal. We've definitely had really impulsive selling. We hit a level of support right here at 511.72. Um, that's a level I had marked out. See, that was former resistance through here, lots of resistance tags, and then a little bit of support, and we broke out. Um, and then it, oh, sorry, right here, here's the level. It's um, 
511.96. That was where it was former resistance right through here. Broke out, held support right in here on what, January 24th. And so that's where we hit recently, right there. So you got to take that out to, for the next sell signal. So I wouldn't, you know, again, you, you want to cover if you're short into support. And that was a key area to cover. So now that we've hit that, we've tested it twice, we're not below it, we could rally. Um, rally up to potential resistance, 543.36, and maybe a back test of that trend line. All right. And we could back test that for a couple weeks or a few days. We don't exactly know how that'll play out. So again, if that plays out, I'd be looking to short right there. Um, down here at support, you know, I covered my position. I took my profit and I'll re-enter the position if we break those levels. We also have earnings coming up. So it's definitely higher risk to remain short right here as you fall into some support right before earnings. And it looks like the market's about to rally. So that's kind of what I got. Although again, longer term traders, this to me looks like it just started to sell down so we could rally and then continue that downtrend over time. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up there guys. Drop me a thumbs up, check out the course and I will catch you guys likely tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna do an end of the day video today. So catch you guys tomorrow.